If you have a medium or a large lizard like a bearded dragon or an iguana, you might notice that their nails can get pretty sharp at times. I'm going to show you how to safely trim their nails today. Even though your lizard may be friendly to you normally, they may not enjoy their pedicure as much as you might think. So I recommend using a towel and just dra gently draping it over the lizard and you essentially wrap them up like a little burrito and wait for them to calm down, of course, and then you move to the next step. I use and recommend the PetZoom nail grinder. You can get it for about $12 on Amazon and they last forever. I've had the same grinder for like five years and it's still running great. They come with a little guard that helps with dog and cat nails, but if you have reptiles, just throw it out. It's a lot easier to maneuver without that guard on and that runs on just two little AA batteries but it's a great tool to have on hand if you have lizards. Another thing to make sure you have on hand is septic powder or quick stop. This is just in case you accidentally hit a quick on a nail where there is still blood flow moving into the nail, then it will start to bleed and this will stop it like right away. Now if you're right-handed, have your lizard facing your right side and vice versa, of course. This is because when you take out one of their legs, you are going to actually bend it backwards. Well, not bend it, you're just gonna stretch it behind them and then their nails will curve perfectly against the Dremel. Now you really just work on one foot at a time and you take that foot out and it might help to have somebody hold the iguana for you if you're not used to doing this or liz any lizard for that matter. Have somebody hold them while you do the nails. You can also, if you're experienced, do this on your own by taking one leg and just bending it backwards and then you take your Dremel and the part you want to Dremel off is the very narrow part that extends past the thick base part of the nail. This is all extra. The thicker part has the quick for the most part and uh, you don't want to get into that at all because lizards do need somewhat long nails in order to be able to climb. We're really just for our own comfort taking off the point uh, right off the end of the nail. So working with just one foot at a time we're gonna go through and pull each one out of the towel and dremel off this excess nail. You can apply some pressure behind the nail to kind of push it into the Dremel bit. Of course, you don't want to bend their toes in any wrong direction, so you do have to keep an eye on that. But applying a little bit of pressure will speed up the process. And they might want to wiggle. You just let them wiggle it out. They'll calm back down afterwards and then you can keep going. And with an iguana who might be a little bit feisty like she can be, you want to take one hand and place the towel by their head so you know they can't sneak underneath and possibly bite you as you're reaching for their foot. And then we're going to tuck this underneath her too. about using a Dremel is that this will nicely round out the end of the nails and clippers will just cut them right up, cut the edge right off and sometimes leave sharp edges behind. So if you want their nails to be a lot softer on you afterwards, again, the Dremel is the way to go. If you have a larger lizard like a savanna monitor or a large tegu, you might want to be using a larger Dremel because this will speed up the process. I love this little pet zoom, but it only works well on smaller-ish nails. It just takes forever to grind down anything big like on a savanna monitor. So for those, you have to buy a separate Dremel bit that attaches to the end of your Dremel. There are some cordless ones, but I recommend corded because at the most inconvenient times, the battery will run out on the cordless ones. So just get corded and you don't have to worry about that at all. So those are the basics to trimming a lizard's nails. I will put a link to the trimmer that I recommend in the description below. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. By the way, a cool fact about iguanas is that they have a third eye on the top of their head and this detects shadows so they can keep an eye on what's going on above them, especially shadows from predators.